Hello guys, Belle here. I wanted to give you a little guide on the uh, on your class hall missions. Now, for those of you who don't know, your class hall missions are similar to garrison missions, uh, but provide a more substantial advantage uh, and give you allow you to have and get acquire different things now the cool thing about this is because it's a class hall it's not a garrison so you're not in here by yourself throughout your questing you are going to acquire uh, you're going to acquire order resources and with these order resources they're used to recruit troops run missions and research upgrades for your order hall so this is going to be an integral part of what we're doing here in legion so you're going to want to get used to this all throughout your questing, you're going to, to acquire these resources. As you see, just in my questing of level 104, I've acquired quite a bit uh, just in the quest that I've done. So pretty nice, uh, definitely something that's important there. And I also want to highlight here that with their new interface, you do have, uh, this is up here as well. So you're going to be getting champions. Now you get your first couple champions relatively easy by doing things in your order hall and completing some quests. And as you see, it's very, very similar to your, um, it's very, very similar to what you were looking at uh, as far as your followers go, but they're called champions, of course, with your order hall. They have the same things where they have specific abilities that are going to work to your advantage. Uh, upgrading, to uncommon quality will unlock this ability so being able to upgrade them similar uh to how you did in legion or in wod is going to be important here so getting those upgrades is going to be the same way you do that you get their experience level uh, and, and be able to do that to increase the return on your investment so to speak then of course you have your scouting map which i went over this uh, already in a in a previous video but this allows you to uh, be able to explore new places uh, to be able to quest and level and do stuff uh, but you can explore those anyway because each map you're on the mobs do uh, scale to your level which is nice so here's your your view of your class hall mission window pretty similar that like once like once i said or like i said So here's your preview of your class hall mission board. And as I said, it is very similar to the garrison look. Uh, and then it, the interface is exactly the same. So you're dealing with the same thing here, pretty similar in how that works. And of course, this is uh, provides a significant increase in character experience. So this is something that's really nice because it's something that you can use. So we're actually going to send our first follower the traits match. So we have a 100% chance, only cost 20 um and he's gonna go and do that for us and uh then that's completed so combat ally assign a com uh, assign a champion to assist you in the broken isle you can actually assign uh, a champion to go with you which is pretty cool that that's even a possibility um you can put that in there and while outdoors your assigned champion will provide you with the following ability which for this specific one which is a uh, Calidus, and this is this is specific to the warlock. Uh, your eternal banishment, which is an instance on a three-minute cooldown, uh, summon him. He puts your current target into eternal banishment, freezing them in place and increasing all damage they take for fifty. Uh, they take for fifteen seconds. So obviously, this is going to vary based off character to character, but still good to know that you can do that as a possibility, and it does. Um, it will be a cost but that's there for your use which is i think something pretty interesting here now obviously i don't have a lot of missions available because i just started going into this content but i wanted to make sure that i showed you guys what the class hall missions look like how that breaks down and how you can utilize uh, your champions to be able to uh, to be able to do that so with this mission progress we've got a few seconds here so once that completes we'll be able to show you um what that looks like and how you can utilize that. So I imagine as you progress, you're probably gonna get more and more missions here at your board, just the same way you did with the garrison missions, but on a, on a grander scale, because that, uh, that lootable right there, that's a pretty good, providing significant increase in your character experience. I, I'm gonna, we're gonna see what that looks like when this completes here, but 
I feel like the rewards are going to be more lucrative. And I know that they talked about that at several of the Q&As. They've talked about the class wall missions being more lucrative. So it's definitely important for you guys to uh, for you guys to take advantage of having this. Since you have to be in your class hall anyway to man your artifact weapon, to be able to do your class order hall questing and stuff like that, you might as well just take advantage of having it here. So it's already completed. And we're going to go ahead and view the completed mission. Look at that. He got a nice little experience boost there. So that's pretty cool. And I'm going to go and see. Let's just see what that does. Um, that actually gave quite a bit of experience. Not as much as I would have thought, but it gave you quite a bit of experience. And that was actually part of a quest that I did have to do, which did grant me more things. And then of course it gives you, uh, it gives you more things that you need to do in order to be able to, uh, in order to be able to complete that. And you do get extra resources for being able to do that. So definitely glad that I got to show you guys that. Uh, I will, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment on the video and ask. I've been going through this, um, I've been going through this a lot just to kind of get the breakdown of how things are going to function and how they're going to work. So you guys also will have the ability to be able to utilize your recruiter with the resources that you do have. So with your recruiter, of course, for everybody, it's different. Um, you can, for warlocks, you can recruit a pack of imps and you just click that um, and it's going to take, you know, some time for that to happen, but they'll be there when they're there. You can come and pick up your troop order. Now, once you come and pick up your troop order, this is going to be pretty neat. What you're actually going to be able to do, you do your troops in training. And, uh, basically now that we have recruited some troops, we can use them to boil, bolster, bolster, now that we have recruited some troops, we can use them to bolster our champion's efforts. The extra forces will allow us to free a prisoner held captive. So for this one, uh, this is uh, Archivist Melinda. Now this Archivist Melinda will arrive in your order hall and grant you the ability to perform research on your order advancement tree, which I'm actually gonna go over that order advancement tree in a separate video, but it's something that's going to be a, a, main, a main focal point here that you're gonna wanna do. So you're gonna be able to put that in there and that's gonna give you a nice little party buff. Then you're gonna be able to put your other champions in here that we talked about and you're gonna be able to start the mission and then that's going to go through and you're going to be able to uh, you're going to be able to take advantage of doing that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward in time and show you what it looks like once we've completed the mission. OK, we have fast forwarded in time so that I can collect the uh, missions that I did to show you. I was actually standing at the wrong spot. Uh, I don't know what this is. We're just going to go ahead and click that because I'm here. Sounds good. So I finished my mission. I do apologize for all of the people that are Googling up this uh, mission board. So we did complete this mission. And this was the troops in training. And as you see, we already leveled up one. I'm going to click that open. Our pack of wild imps, which was what we wanted to start with. And then, of course, we have... Uh, we did receive that. I don't have any more missions available. All right, so we grab that, and then we're going to turn in our mission here. And then be good to go. Then we're going to take that over here, and we're going to need to go in there, which is, I think we have to go around. We can go ahead and uh, pick up the troops that we did take. I'm pretty sure that I ordered troops previously since this is the next day after so that I could show you guys that I did. So now you guys get to see the picking up the pack of imps. I'm actually going to go ahead and, uh, oh, I can't recruit anymore. Oh, well, probably because I did recruit the first set. So now we're going to go, I could have just went the non long way, but whatever. Okay. So now we're going to do the next part here. And this is going to be your class hall upgrades, which is what you get those books for. So Dark Bargain increases the chance of your quest rewards to get rare epic bonus upgrade from non-repeatable quests 
get a, it's got a research time of two hours, cost 50 resources. Summon Doom Guard enables the Summon Doom Guard ability, which increases the success chance of the first mission you send each day by 20%. So I'm thinking we're going to go with Dark Bargain just because that feels like that's going to be the best way to go. So as you see, your order advancement, this is going to be ways that using those knowledge, the books that we gain, uh, that's going to be where you're going to want to take advantage of making your order hall missions more successful. So basically you're, you're upgrading them with those books. So that's going to be the rule of thumb there. And then of course we can go back over there and complete out this quest line. So that's basically what it looks like to take care of your missions within your class hall. Now, as you see, being able to upgrade with the order by getting those books to learn the knowledge of your order hall is going to make your missions that much more substantial. So definitely a lot better than your standard garrison mission manager. Uh, definitely upgraded, they put a lot of thought process into this. And then here's something cool for completing that, you get 300 artifact power. So pretty nifty there. I'm really glad that I got a chance to show you guys how that worked out. And uh, let me know if you have any questions regarding the uh, mission, the campaigns for your class order hall. Uh, feel free to comment below and I will do my best to get the answers to you in a quick fashion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to Pwncast, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you guys can stay up to date on all the Legion news and uh, news in World of Warcraft in general, as well as helpful guides and videos. Also, if you're already here watching this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing a good job. And as always, feel free to comment. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.